Hello, good people. This is Karen with Ali Yoga, and we're back for another episode of Lord's Temple Wellness. And as a matter of fact, I'm so delighted to have this guest today. Mm-hmm. It's Miss Wanda Carson. Not only has she been a neighbor of mine so many years ago, uh, she currently is one of my favorite and mm-hmm. most prolific student on the Lord's Temple uh, Wellness class at Bates Community Development Center. We do it on Zoom, and I'm so impressed with her that she lasted through the uh, Christmas. Uh, we In the fitness industry, there's a little lull uh, when people stop going to the gym because of Christmas and New Year's. And then they pick up on their resolutions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so, But they don't always last to January and come back. So you did come back. Yes. And I appreciate that. And um, you tell me that you work at a desk. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that we can get a lot of misalignments, illness, ailments from working at a desk. Have you... Uh, noticed anything not a lot of misalignments but i do sit at a desk all day long and i'm using my hands as far as inputting and uh, the yoga has really uh, uh, helped and assisted me Mm -hmm. with uh kind of staying aligned Mm -hmm. yes you can tell a difference yes i know you ought to see her i just love it she's like running to their seat when she (laughs) at the camera you don't know that do you Uh, no <laughs> you really are showing your energy and enthusiasm about uh, getting in front of getting that uh, class started. Yes. So, yes. yeah, I appreciate that. And um, you will feel a lot better from uh, yoga. So, let's see. Have we done hand stuff with you? Yes. Um, especially, you said, because I do work on the laptop a lot for carpal tunnel. We do a lot of strengthening with the hands and with the wrists, uh, so that's very helpful for mm-hmm. me. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. I think you've told me before, maybe that, do you move a little better through the shoulders or through the back? Well, sometimes if I am sitting for a long period of time, uh, my mind will go back to a class mm-hmm. where we were just able to relax our, our <laughs> shoulders and... Uh, kind of stretch that way. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's very beneficial mm-hmm. as well. Okay, good, Thank good. Um, and we're becoming progressive. Our, all of my classes, they're progressive. Mm-hmm. It's, I don't want to leave you where I found you. I want to leave you better. I don't even want to leave you. <laughs> I want you to stay with me. So we just keep on uh, strengthening and attending to and working the Lord's temple. Um, so we've done some yoga moves that get us out of the chair instead yes. of staying in the chair. Yes. Can you feel or notice there's any strength? Uh, there, is, there is a difference. Okay. Uh, getting out of the chair is a little, sometimes a little challenging mm-hmm. uh, uh, because of what uh, brought me to the class because mm-hmm. it said yoga chair or chair yoga. Right. I'm like, great. Yeah. I can stay in a chair and right. do all these moves. And then you said, we're well, getting out of the chair. I'm like, okay. But I've gotten better. I've yes. gotten better. Yes. So progressively, uh-huh. mm-hmm. I've gotten better. Uh-huh. Yes. Good. And I tell you what, it's wonderful to be on Zoom. And I'm impressed even that you found yoga on mm-hmm. Zoom, um, on the internet, you know. Mm-hmm. And stuck with it for so long, but I am pleased to have you in person so that I can actually see what your body is doing mm-hmm. and help you as this private lesson. Yeah. Okay. So you might be going through more of the motions than me, and I will be correcting you. Okay. Okay. We hadn't really talked about what we would do. No, we had. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm a willing participant. Uh-huh. So. Okay. okay. Well, great. So, you're used to practicing longer than this, so we might as well get to it. How about that? Sounds good. Okay. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and... Um, so, everybody, you remember, if you've been with us before, and I didn't forget to show you that 
We want to keep our nasal passages clean because our body are, um, does heal itself to the point that it can. And one thing that the nasal passages do is, uh, it is a filter. I was going to say act as, but it is a filter mm -hmm. to the different allergens mm -hmm. and dust that want to enter our body. And it does what it can mm -hmm. to keep it out. And then it makes secretions to trap what it has caught. And um, so we blow our nose. And so we've already done it, but we want to show you, you know, you do. You know, you blow your nose and then you want to get rid of your paper and then even clean your hands. We've done all of that, but we want to remind you to do it. And now what we will do is go ahead. I want to do some different things with you, okay? Okay. Because we do, we do stuff. Uh, you know. <laughs> okay. Wanna, yeah. Because you, when did we have class? Yesterday? Yesterday. All yes. right, yeah. On Tuesdays. You are warmed up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll do some regulars and uh, interlace our fingers up oh, here. Okay. And do you know I forgot something? What I forget? Uh, before we interlace, we kind of do this. We spread apart. And three breath practice. Yeah. Hand on our heart, hand out our belly. Did anybody catch that? I really do try to open with that because I want you to remember that the breath was the last thing that God put into our body so that it could move. Okay? Our bodies are meant to move. So together, one on our heart, that's where our emotions mm -hmm. just all of them are but then in your belly that is where your courage is so i want you to have courage in taking care of your lord's temple all right so you're welcome to close your eyes as you do it which is breathe in and then breathe out feel relaxation moving around your neck all the way down to your elbows breathe in Big belly, big chest, and breathe out. Imagine you can follow your breath as it travels your body. Breathe in. And breathe out. All right, good deal. Hands in prayer position. Prayer changes things. So let's fill it up around our shoulders. So to begin with the heel of our hand, we want it to be more level with the elbow. So bring them down and you should feel the shoulders start to kick in a bit already, okay? Now locate your shoulder blades and you are connecting your mind with your body as you are mentally finding these body parts, okay? So find your shoulder blades and bring them together toward the spine. Got them in place. Let's add the strength. Press into the heels of your hand. Do you feel how your spinal muscles, your back muscles are getting pressed mm -hmm. <laughs> by your shoulder blades? Yes. They're coming together, right? Okay, good. And go ahead and exhale, and you'll definitely feel the relief, right? Yes. Now let's spread our fingers like you remember, and then interlace them. Now we'll bring the elbows together and the fist will raise up a bit. And you still squeeze around your shoulders. You feel that happening as you squeeze your fingers. All these body parts are connected. <laughs> we used to say, what, the hip bone connected to the thigh, thigh bone. bone. Right. <laughs> They're all connected by these muscles and these tendons and ligaments and blood vessels, all that stuff. Okay, anyway. We have, there's healing in the blood. We have <clears throat> cut the blood off a little bit, okay? Cut off my circulation. I feel like re remembering all these things as a kid. But then as you release your fingers, that sensation is your blood moving back through quickly. And we're um, pressing our palms forward. As it moves quickly through, it is bringing nutrition. It is taking waste matter away from your area. 
different parts of your body. Now find your shoulder caps and push forward with them. You may not feel so much pressure in your palms yet, but now through your heels of your hands. See if you can press through the heels of your hands. And the heels of your hand are where the carpal tunnels lie, which provide a tunnel for the carpal nerves. <laughs> so, just shorten it to carpal tunnel. And you can bring your palms back to your chest or even to your thighs and roll your shoulders. So these are some movements that you uh, will there are some basic movements, poses, and that you will find a lot of benefit from. The more consistently, let's alternate forward. The more consistently you practice these, the better you will feel. You will just feel. I didn't even understand. I had a deeper understanding of grace mm -hmm. when I could walk a little bit better. I was gliding. That's what it felt like. <laughs> so now you know what's next. We're headed on back to our chair. So we'll um, just prepare for that. And like I said, I think I, I'll just go ahead and just have you be this private student. Welcome to your chair here. And I'll talk you through. Bones near yes. the brain. Yes. Okay, instead of your feet touching, get them separated. And you might feel that your spine has straightened up. What we're looking for, we're always looking for the alignment of the body, particularly the joints. That's the way God lined us up, okay? And uh, and they bear weight. They bear the weight of gravity in addition to the weight of our body. So right here, Wanda has it great. Her knee, I should say her ankle, is directly below her knee joint. Okay, I even want to just see you walk your tiny feet forward. Just look at little bitty feet. Mm -hmm. Can you feel that that is a little bit more stable from, okay. tight, yes. from toe to knee? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I even seen you adjust it. Good. Okay, so press down into your heel mm -hmm. and raise your toes. I like doing this. <laughs> and raise your toes, not your foot. Just right. Good. And, and I can take my socks off if you like. Okay, if you like. It's up to you. Yeah. I know it's... <laughs> We're in, we're in a basement. <laughs> so sometimes people's toes are a little cold. And our toes don't get a lot of exercise. They stay smashed in shoes. Mm -hmm. And and also, anyway, so you got your toes lifted. Good, good. And then just gently put them down. Okay, so now we're going to do the Ollie Shuffle. Okay. But since I'm standing... Mine look different. We've done okay. all these shuffles yes. before, yes. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Here we go. We're doing the all these shuffles. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? All these shuffles like this. <laughs> okay. So, with that, we feel our blood circulation moving a little faster, right. feeling our nerve, nerves being activated, and we're bringing... Uh, blood to the area so that it's warmed up. I think you get the gist of it, okay? We'll keep going. <laughs> so now, let's see where are we going. We got the toes and the muscles activated there. Let's open our chest, okay? okay? Again, we're closing our shoulder blades. Put your hands on the chair and pull your shoulder blades together, okay? And take your chin up. Pull your elbows toward each other. Good job. So that's the inhale, and you continue breathing. So now go ahead and exhale. Good. Let's do it again. Inhale. And if you're standing, you can put your hands behind you, and you're moving your chest forward. Chin up. You're activating those neck muscles. And then exhale, bring your chin down, and release your shoulders. Good, good. Okay, so let's see what else we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get you standing here, length of the mat, and you can move your chair, I mean move your socks. Mm -hmm. So I'm making this up as I go. I'm putting this together as I go. 
So uh, go ahead and put your hands here. And walk back. Just I'll tell you when to stop. We're going to go into a forward fold. So lean down now from your chest. Look at the chair. So as I said, we want to be aligned. And as you can see, her ankle is in front of her hip joint this time. Or her knee is even in front of her knee joint. So I will have you step back. Just step back. Okay. And right there. So you can see that hip. Step back again. That nice curvy legs. Okay, that looks better. Does that feel different? different you don't know what better is at this point. It's like, <laughs> who does this, right? So lower down. I'm going to touch you if that's okay. okay. Right here and move from right here. Move this part down and your lower back will follow suit. Good. Bend your elbows and keep folding. Look at the top of your chair. Good. Feel it here in your shoulders. You feel your back. Yeah. You feel your low back. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna go deeper by just we're not holding on to the chair too tight. I say we. She's doing our work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just walk your hands down the side of the chair. Okay. And keep going. Feel it in your low back. Feel it. Okay. Just walk down as far as you like with your hands yeah. to the legs. Is that where you're going to be? I can go here and walk down. Ah. I'm not holding on to the chair and walk well. down. <laughs> <laughs> so, Excuse me. I feel like I'm going to fall over. Yeah, well, okay. Chair. Okay, but you know what? That mm -hmm. is a progression. Okay. Yeah, but uh, go ahead and hold on to the chair. Okay. And shift your weight. Oh, you got it on your toes? Put it in your heel. Okay. Yeah, okay. You can stop right there. So now address your back again by pressing your bottom toward the wall. Not, not this. Press your bottom. Move your muscles from shoulder to hip toward the wall. Mm -hmm. Did that? Yes. Okay. Good. So you lengthen in the lower portion of your back, right? The small of mm -hmm. your back. Okay, good. Now come on back up. Walk your hands up. Watch where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So this chair ought to be okay. I'm going to be okay with you. I'm going to do this as you lean forward. Lean forward. Mm -hmm. okay. Into plank. You got me if I say plank. Mm -hmm. The up of a push up on your right. toes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. So come forward. Look up. Drop. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Come on your heels. Come on your heels. I, I said it wrong. Drop your waist. Come this way. Okay. Yep. Yep. Look up. Okay. I got you. I got you. Come on your heels. Come on your heels. Good. So let me show you another way because this is what I'm, we talked about this I think on Zoom. Switch places with your chair. Okay. I'll put you on the wall. Okay. Okay. Because the wall is not going to move. move right. And we're going to use the bottom of the chair because we don't want you uh, looking for mm -hmm. it. Okay. Yeah. We don't want, we're not practicing fear. That's a fearful mm -hmm. situation, right? Right. So go ahead. Put your hands on the heel sides of the left side. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. And bring them off the edge of the chair. So that the heels of the hands, like your sits bone, now move forward. Look up. Way up. Does that feel better? Yes. Does that feel more secure? Yes. Drop your bottom even better. There you go. There you go. Look up. Look up. Look up. Bend that back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey! Look at you! I need a picture of that! <laughs> yes, because I can't see you on Zoom. You're like, let me up. Let me up. Go to Downward Dog. Heels on the floor, and just like you were reaching for the wild before, do the same thing. Good, good, good. Yay! So that was upward dog that you did. Go ahead, hold your ankles and oh, okay. too. Bend your knees to get there. Bend your knees to get there. Now straighten your knees and fold your torso down more, even bend your elbows to do 
do something. Pull yourself in. Good. And just bend your knees. Allow yourself to come on back up. Good. Let's see. Inhale. Bring your arms up overhead. And from your waist fold, because you are still in range of your chair. Or maybe not. Did you step back? Go ahead, step forward. Yeah. Go ahead, touch the chair. Go back into plank. Okay. I want some. I want to do it. <laughs> okay, good. And downward dog.
Now you're going to take your right foot under the chair, so step as you need to. Oh, wow. Okay, now hold the back of the... You're not there yet. Hold with your right hand. With your right hand, hold the back of your right ankle. You're going to give it some help. Mm -hmm. Pick that foot up and walk it. Did you see what I did? Okay. Right hand, mm -hmm. hold the ankle, but come pull the weight off of it and pick that foot up and help it up. Oh. Well, I, I, mean, I can just move it forward. Okay. Right? I, was, okay. I was trying to make it smooth. <laughs> oh, okay. Kind of, kind of whatever. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so go ahead. Put your hand back in the chair. And, yes, you're doing it. The heel. Bring it down. Pivot. Pivot the foot. Yeah. Yeah. You're just doing the other side. Mm hmm Okay. Good. Come up into your warrior two. Remember what that is? Arms out to the side. Hey! Hey, look at you. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, now go into your peaceful warrior. Remember what that is? Yes. Yes, look at you. Okay, so you just turn your seat, sit how you want to. How do you feel? Good. Good. Okay, so you, uh, I think I need a wall at home. Yeah. Because I'm doing freestanding. Yeah. So I think the wall would definitely give me put me more confidence. Right, right, exactly. That's one of Muhammad Ali principles, isn't it? <laughs> That's what I we want to definitely promote. Um, Ali Yoga is an acronym for as love inspires. However, we do promote the six principles of Muhammad Ali. Sometimes I mess them up, but confidence is definitely confidence, conviction, dedication. Give me three more. Giving, spirituality, and self-respect. Okay? Yeah. So, now we... Uh, We'll, uh, so we uh, pay homage to him through our movements and through this, uh, his six principles and also understanding that we are the Lord's temple and we want to be healthy in it. So as love inspires us to our better health is why we have this class and we'll go ahead and get the spirit moving through us, through the life force, the uh, blood flow is go ahead and tap your feet. Okay, great. Hand on the heart. Hand on the belly. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully, pulling the navel in. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Trace your breath path as you breathe in deeply. Feel your nostrils. Feel around your wisdom seat, your third eye. And then as you exhale, you are bringing the essence of God back into you. We'll bring our hands back into prayer position. And let's remember that the Jesus in me recognizes and loves the Jesus in you and your place in the universe. Namaste and amen.